Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is setting up stuff for print with Spot UV. So you've got a business card that you want Spot UV on. This is how you're going to need to set things up. And it's for the UK. So if you're abroad, it might be slightly different. Just check with your printers. So I've got my artboard set up. I'm assuming if you're at this stage, you know how to set artboards up. And these one, two, three, four artboards. So you've got the front of the business card on number one, the back of the business card on number two. That's your printed stuff. And then you're finishing your spot UV is on front is on three, back is on four. I've set up two layers here. I've got my artwork there, which is a, a blue bounding box, and I've got my UV there, which is a red bounding box. Now I don't normally use layers in Illustrator, but for this you kind of have to, it, it just makes sure you're doing it correctly. Your UV, this section here, is just set to 100% black. If you double click that, you can rename it Spot UV. Um, you can change it to a spot color. It depends on your printer, but usually if it's 100% black and says Spot UV, then it's fine. Some want 100% magenta, just check with your printer. But that UV, a black, is on the UV layer, so you can turn it off to make sure everything's there, and the artwork's on one and two. So set your artboard to 85 by 55, that's UK sizes, millimeters. You've got a three mil bleed on each edge. And I'm happy with my artwork, so all I have to do now, I'll delete this stuff. All I have to do now is select what I want to UV. So, I want to UV all the white copy, so I'm just going to go through, press A, hold down, shift, and select multiple things. So there you are, selected all that. Then I'm going to select this shadow, this reflection, that reflection, and the letters. Now, I'm going to Command C, which is copy. Now, my art, this artboard is selected because you can tell it's got a black line. If you go to a different artboard, that line goes to grey and that line goes to black. So we want to take our copy and go to the front, but we want to go into the UV layer. And then we're going to Command Shift V, which pastes it exactly in the same place. And that's important with UV. If it's even a few mil out, it's going to look not right. Now, once it's on here, as you, you can't see this copy here because it's white. So what I'm going to do is convert this font to outlines, which you need to do with everything before you send it to print. Otherwise the printers will just knock it back. So you've got it all selected. You're going to Command Shift O. Now you can see it. Now it's popped up. But as you can see, it's not black yet. So we've already got that black selected. So let's hit that black. You double click it and you've got your Spot UV color. So the printers know that it's a Spot UV. So that is it. That's that set for the front. For the back, we're going to do the same thing. We want that text, we want all these ticks, and we want these reflections on the icons, the old icons. So Command C, go to your other artboard, make sure you're on the UV layer, and Command Shift V, paste in place. Again, Command Shift O, makes everything outlines, and hit that spot UV black. That is you set to save things. So now, when you save for print, the first thing you want to do, and you should do this every single time, you should have steps that you follow so you don't make any mistakes. Because if you make a mistake, you pay for it. If there's a problem with the printing, the printer will replace it. But if there's a problem with the design, that's on you. So you want to, the first thing you want to do is Command-Alt-2. And what that'll do is if anything's locked, Command-Alt-2, it will unlock it all. So if I've accidentally locked some copy, then that won't convert to outlines and that won't be right. So Command Alt 2, unlock everything. Then Command A selects everything. Then Command Shift O, outlines all your copy. Can you see it goes from that to that. That means all your copy are now shapes. There's no live text in there. That's very important. Because different systems open up copy in different ways. You want to make it a shape and then it won't move and it won't change. So that, you can see we've got the bleeds on and now we're going to save that. 
So at this stage, there's one thing I've missed out. Before you outline everything, just save a version of this. Save an original version, just Command S. And what that does is ensures you can come back to it at a later date if the client wants to make any amends and you're good to go. You don't need to reset live font, anything like that. So just save it before you outline anything. So Apple A, Command Shift O, everything's outlined, we're ready to save our separate version for print. So we're gonna use a PDF. So we're gonna go up to File, Save As, and I'm gonna hit the format down here and go to PDF. So we wanna make sure all is selected. Sometimes you've got range on, which only save a few. So all, save. Now, I've already got this in default, and mine is print one down at the bottom there. So print one, pre preserve illustrator edit editing capabilities, you can keep it on, optimize for fast web view, you can keep it on. Compression, you want the bitmap images to be 300, um, these numbers, 300, 450, 300, 450, 1200, 800. As long as your numbers are there, then you're good to go. Your marks and bleeds, trim marks is the only thing you need on. You don't need registration, color bars, anything like that. You just need trim marks. You can change the weight of them, but if you go on these numbers, then, then you could be, you'd be good. The rest of this, you can pretty much ignore. So then just save. And that has saved the version of the file with crop marks. So if you just hit preview spacebar, you can see the front, the crop marks on the corner, the back, the front, and the back UV. So if you want to double check that everything's in place, if you keep your eyes on the igloo, you go from there to there, it's in exactly the same spot. So that's you good to go. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.